Hello, Lieb Group viewers. Welcome to Lieb.com. That's L-E-E-B.com. And want to wish our Canadian viewers a happy Canada Day. And uh, welcome to the second half of the year. The first half of 2010 is now in the history books. Um, unfortunately, they will record a weak stock market performance for the opening half of the year. Of course, after the strong 2009, some kind of market correction was expected at some point. This market weakness was brought on by a slew of reasons. Uh, number one, the weaker than expected economic recovery here in the U.S. Um, number two, the fears of the sputtering world's growth engine China. And last but not least, um, the signs of growing troubles in Europe. As such, there are significant concerns that market volatility will continue. Uh, today's economic numbers did not do much uh, toward calming these fears. Various data showed that manufacturing all over the world has been showing signs of slowing. The ISM manufacturing index in the U.S. declined more than forecasted in May. Uh, Chinese manufacturing slowed in June, growing less than was forecasted, uh, while data coming from Europe indicated a slowdown in factory output. Uh, last weekend's meeting of the G20 Countries didn't calm worries about the future of Europe. There are still concerns that the uh, proposed austerity measures and related to the budget cuts from the UK to Ireland to Spain will threaten the recovery. Market participants worry about the premature withdrawal of, stim of stimulus or the unwillingness to expand them uh, will likely result in slower growth than was predicted. It's very important for a sustainable recovery that the uh, economy is creating jobs. This is why every number that pertains to employment is analyzed by economists and reviewed by investors. Today, as initial unemployment claims, which were expected to decline, increased to 4.62 million. The market uh, reacted negatively. All eyes will be on the June job reports, which will be released tomorrow morning. So thank you for dropping by, and we shall see you tomorrow.